Yo, what's up guys? I'm Jaffa back again with a new video on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the top eight best Discord themes, the better Discord in 2023. These themes all vary from aesthetics to utility purposes, and all links for the themes can be found in the description. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Before we get into the video, I'd like to shout out my personal favorite sponsor, Sweatcoin. Sweatcoin is an app that pays people just like us to walk. But I know what you're thinking. Jaffa, I'm a pro gamer. I've never touched grass in my life. Why would I use this app? Well, you should probably start walking today. As well as walking, there are challenges across the app, such as exercise races, which win prizes like 20 inch TVs, brand new AirPods, or maybe even a trip to Disneyland with your family. Another perk to this app is that you can race to the top of the leaderboard with your friends to see who's keeping the fittest. Make sure that you do this though for a boost on Sweatcoin. Use my link in the description and you can get $5 for absolutely free. www.sweatco.in forward slash i forward slash not jaffa for $5 free when you download the app. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Disclaimer, bad Discord is against Discord's night. Better Discord is against better I can't speak Disclaimer Better Discord is against Discord teams <laughs> Disclaimer Better Discord is against Discord's terms and services Abusing the plugins featured in this video can result in your Discord account being banned Use these plugins at your own risk Okay so um Yeah before we get into uh, any of the themes the most important thing is having better discord installed so the first thing you want to do is you want to head if you don't have it installed if you have it installed you can skip but uh, i should have chapters for the video so just go on the chapters and skip to the, the themes above but anyway back to this so what you want to do is just press download version 1.9.2 download and i'm going to save it in my downloads file like where else would i save it I already have it so I'm just gonna replace it for the sake of the video and then you just want to open it simply like that I go to my desktop press run let it run the loader should come up the setup should come up as you can see better discord installer always read the license agreement read it with you blah 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 always read it I'm not gonna read it today but I've read it in a video before so just go and check it out then tick that box and go to next press install better discord you guys should most likely have the regular discord but if it comes to the if you have different type of discord just select that and if you're just if they don't automatically locate where your discord is just press browse and then locate it for them and then uh, now you select the one that you're on which is the regular discord for me it should highlight blue and then you want to press install it's gonna do all of this okay then discord and you want to press close and discord should open for you guys when it opens it won't look how like mine's about to look but that's because i've already had bad discord before you already know from previous videos so when you see my bad discord it looks modified but yours will be literally just looking at regular discord but as you can see for me if i just bring this over mine kind of looks like a mac and uh, yeah go to your settings go on the left hand side where you can scroll down scroll down and you should see better discord with five sections here that's how you know you have it what you want to do is you want to go over to the theme section let's go on themes you want to press open theme folder and you just want to keep that here i'm gonna have it blurred out because for some reason it's showing my name and we don't want that so okay so nice once you have it installed and once you've uh, opened your themes folder the first theme we're going to be looking at is the midnight theme and that theme is a dark rounded discord theme so pretty much this one is a uh, one of my aesthetic ones i like this one yeah because let's say you don't have a mac and you really want to like have like mac into like mac gui kind of like looking kind of interface you get it here with midnight it's nice if i go to my settings you can see like it looks it's like it's got really it's really clean like uh transitions when you switch between things i'm gonna open that dm yeah, let's go to my discord server you see it's really clean let's say i went to bot commands it's, uh, see how all of the messages come in it's really clean and stuff you go to uh welcome if i press on the images here see how it comes up see how it just transitions in it's really smooth it's i say it's an aesthetic one it's dark as well so yeah you can also i'll make a video on this again but uh soon but you can customize like colors and stuff on other people's um themes because it's a it's all of these themes are open source so you're allowed to modify the code to your liking then you let's move on to the second one the second theme is the opera gx theme aka opera gx gaming theme 
and um with this theme it's literally just opera gx like all it is is opera gx that's really it and for this theme what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys how to download the themes and put them onto your discord or slash bear discord so what you want to do is literally press the download button here you might get this bug uh this doesn't mean anything if it just freezes and then shows a gray translucent display it literally means nothing it's click on it again and it should disappear or just reload your page and it should go and then i'm just gonna download it and i'm gonna press save i'm gonna save all my themes in here and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get that folder that uh, i just told you guys about the one that you need uh the themes folder from bear discord and what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag it from your downloads into that folder just like that as you can see it's there that's all you have to do then when you go back to your discord you should get a message i didn't get it i don't know why but you would get a message saying the theme has been installed or something and then all you want to do is just look for the theme that you installed and just select it like that and as you can see discord already looks clean as shit if i i use opera gx like that's my main browser as you can see i'm using it right now so it's a cool theme to have when browsing between opera gx and discord it feels the same it, like it feels nice and i go to discord servers as you can see they've got the opera gx background um they got opera gx text opera gx formatting typing okay you don't have the opera gx sound that's that's a that's something that would have been cool but they don't have it i don't know if they can have that but yeah as you can see yeah this shit is nice i like it it's exactly like opera gx the next theme is synthesis and as you can see it looks crazy it does look crazy this is not okay i can't like this is nice when you look at your um i don't know why my keys are open i don't even use it right but this is nice i like this it might hurt your eyes a little bit it does look a little bit weird at first i just it feels really really retro these colors and um this little te like texture pattern here it's a bit like back to the future moving on to the fourth one we've got Cove, Cove. I don't know how you say this word, Cove, Cove, whatever. As you can see, the second I selected it, the format of Discord just changed. You know, I think I might actually stick with this one for a while. I like this one already. You see, it just looks way cleaner, smoother. As you can see, it also has the smooth transitions for Discord, just like the first one we went over midnight. Sorry, it should be full screen. Um, during my Discord server, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like revive this. Same with my uh, dead channel. <laughs> As you can see the smooth transitions click on your name look how look how nice that is as you see this guy here has disco natural look how nice this is like look at the gradient in the background this is sick it's, it's very nice it's very clean i like this and when you click on it oh uh, when you click on it like when you click on the view profile look how nice that is you've got the the details here you've got this is just this is probably the best one i've i've gone on to so far i like i like this one a lot the fifth one, as you can see, as I was saying, it says the, um, the theme is unloaded. That's, that's what I was looking for. It is what I meant by a utility theme. As you can see, you can with this one, you can have more than one theme on. Because if, if I was to use this theme and this theme at the same time, it wouldn't work. Like it does, but it formats the color and it, it might be uh, weird. Some things might not load in and stuff. And if I was to do it like synthesis, it would fuck it up completely. As you can see, I pretty much bugged my Discord. But fixed it just like that but with this one you can keep you can keep a theme on so i'm just going to use a smooth theme like this one and i'm going to go and select emoji replace that is the fifth theme as you can see when you go to your emojis as you can see you haven't even pressed on the emojis yet and it already looks like the iphone uh, apple ios emoji so if i press on this it's now apple emojis because i know that a, a lot of people um struggle with finding emojis on their phone on discord so like if you need this as a utility feature every single apple emoji is here like, if i want to say subscribe to jaff and you got you got you got it all here moving on to the sixth i appreciate a sick theme and this is a theme i've made a video on before but i'm gonna feature it in this video today because why not it deserves the credit and deserves the props because it is honestly one of the best themes i've ever used in my life on this book and that is the Alexis Modern Discord theme. I used to use this theme for a long time, like uh, like around a year ago. I used to use this theme almost every day. But yeah, that's all it really is. That's all it really has to offer. It's just smooth. It's just it's just, it's just chill. It's Moving on, we got another utility type theme. I'm bring my mic closer to me. But you know, we got another utility type theme. Horizontal serverless. What this theme does is it moves the serverless and your little name thingy from the left of your Discord to the top of your Discord. So just like how on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. 
11 OS you can have your taskbar moved from the bottom to the left or from the bottom to the top of the right you can do it on Discord just like this once again as this is a utility theme it can be paired up with other themes so all I have to do is select this and as you can see just like that um, whatever it used to be pretty much like the taskbar that used to be here is no longer here and it's been moved to the top last but not least we have got the chillax theme stress doesn't really go with our fit try chill out you might not regret it that's their description I have no idea what that means but shit check it out actually um i think it's good that i did this one last because i think i'm gonna stick with this one wow okay yeah yeah this is good i like this yeah this is a very very good theme look how look how when i just go over to the the, cert, the members list how it just has that transition and if, let's say if i clicked on this you see you hover over my name it's like that's sick like it, it, it ain't like wow i like i just i like this one yeah i like this one this is probably the most aesthetic one you'll see out of all the ones i showcased in this video and that's it's a good reason i put this one last it has a glow around all your notifications and your profile picture also has like a glow around that if depending on what your status is so me i'm dnd do not disturb so i'm red Luffy's is a bot, but since it's online, it's green. I find someone see uh wait, yep, as you see that I do, and then offline's I think offline's would just not show, yeah. Okay, offline shows grey, but it's still nice. Oh wait, that's even cooler. It even has animations like let's see. That's nothing. That's still that's still nice though, but uh, the user settings is sick. I like that how it will if you press on your name, it will show your um when you go on your settings, it has a way smoother feel like it just looks and the layout the discourse like structure of it is just so nice like the way everything's written where everything comes in is just very very chill anyways yep yeah, so that video was the top eight best discord themes and bad discord in 2023 if you enjoyed this video and would like more types of these kind of videos i will try and make the next video shorter because this is my first time doing a themes version and i've never really done this before so i was really just talking on the spot but next time i will write like a uh, scripts and just go over the main features of it so if you'd like a video like that let me know drop a like comment what you want to see next in the comment section subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications Thanks guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If I step round there with a turn on, I pretty don't sing like Tina. Free Vando lock for the merch. Got hit by the front of the beamer. Free man drops with the pagans team up. They all still glow like Talisa. We don't see gun smoke in the Gaza. Unless it's us trying to test our beaters. We eat up the beef like burgers. So five guys now they're covered in sauce. Man.